So if you're new to the sport and you're wondering what to wear while golfing, stick around. I'm going to talk about it. Hello and welcome. I'm Eyeglass Tyler. We're going a little bit more broad today, talking about golf and talking about what to wear. If you're new to the sport and you're a little bit unsure, uh, maybe this will give you a little more comfort around it. It'll give you, make you feel a little bit better about not being totally out of the loop with golf, especially depending on if you're going to a country club or if you're going to I don't know, a nicer course, then they can have a little more strict dress codes. Uh, I'm going to talk about what you might expect there. I'm going to talk about how about shirts, pants, jackets, shoes, and then some accessories like hats or sunglasses and maybe gloves. Maybe I'll talk about some other tips. The idea of this is to just give you a little more information on the sport and what to expect being new. If you are interested in getting sunglasses at the end of this, don't forget about Sporter X and definitely don't forget about our See Better Guarantee because with that, you never have to stress about getting the wrong thing. You have 45 days with them to figure that out. You contact us, we take care of you no matter what that means on our end. And also, we have opticians, very friendly, very knowledgeable opticians who'd love to help get it right the first time. So you can always reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Let's talk about golf. Let's start with some clothing do's and don'ts. You want to avoid wearing the casual t-shirts like this guy's wearing right now. Good thing I'm not on the course. You want to avoid wearing more casual wear just in general like jeans, sweatpants, yoga pants. Obviously, if you're a woman, not as acceptable on the course. You want to avoid wearing uh, more casual outerwear as well like denim jackets or just your casual hoodies as comfortable as they may be. Also, you want to avoid wearing sandals, boots, high heels. Some of these things might seem obvious, but just something to be aware of. If you are a man, you do want to wear a collared shirt. That's why you see that very classic looking golf shirt that has a collar, maybe a couple of buttons here, maybe full button up. You can also make it kind of a fun endeavor that you're, you're dressing up a little bit more. For women, you don't necessarily have to wear a collared shirt. Uh, you don't even necessarily have to wear a sleeve shirt. You have a little more freedom in that regard. Just make sure that you look nice. Obviously, you do want to make sure you keep your shirt tucked in. You want to wear slacks, dress shorts, a good pair of trousers. There are also golf skirts for women. You want to wear a vest. How about a sweater, windbreaker? Those are really nice. Uh, running shoes are okay. Golf shoes, obviously. Just something that's a little nicer than a standard pair of sneakers, but depending on what you're doing standard pair of sneakers might also be okay just it's a nicer sport it tends to be something that people usually dress up for a little more and golf courses like to maintain that cleaner look and that cleaner aesthetic even for those just coming and having a good day on the links and so keep that in mind if you're going out how about some accessories do's and don'ts i would say that most hats are acceptable Obviously, visors, baseball caps are most common. You can get a little more fun with this for certain outside of something that's really wild and crazy. Again, just sticking to that same concept of it's, it's a nice place and you want to look nice as well. Do make sure that you practice. Maybe it's antiquated now. I think that uh, the older generation would still appreciate this, taking your hat off indoors, uh, just keeping your hat on straight, not turning it sideways, not trying to be hip, I guess. Just wear it for the function, for sure. Sunglasses are a really good idea. Beyond just protecting your eyes, there are a lot of benefits to sunglasses. We've done a ton of videos. You can always check out if you want more information, maybe on frames specifically, maybe on lenses. I would say that even beyond helping to protect your eyes, you get actually performance enhancing Characteristics, I, I look at it as a performance enhancing tool. If you get a really good lens, it can help make it easier to spot and track the ball. Depth perception cues are enhanced, which means better ability to read the terrain and, and see where the ball is going and see how far away the pin is and also read the green. So definitely don't skimp out on a good pair of sunglasses. There's a lot that can be gained from that. Uh, let's talk about gloves. Put that on your non-dominant hand because that's gonna help with gripping the golf club. You will see differences on practice in this. It's pretty common that that glove comes off when you're actually putting, but the rest of the time it's gonna help with grip so that you can focus on your swing and not anything else. 
few other tips, a few other things to keep in the back of your mind. Uh, most golf bags have pockets in them for personal belongings. Definitely utilize that. It's not a bad idea to wear bright clothing, especially if you are on a crowded golf course or one that is busy, rather. You wanna make sure that people can see you even from far away. Contrast colors on that same note are a good idea. Generally speaking, a white shirt and dark pants or a lighter shirt and darker bottoms and also uh, black shoes and white socks is kind of a no-no. Keep that in mind or the opposite. You want to kind of, again, just think about what you're wearing and how it looks from an outside perspective. I know we're kind of getting in a much more casual culture across the board, but especially here in San Diego. And so some of these things might come more naturally to you or, or seem ridiculous to have to be said, but some people out there, I think it's helpful for. And so that's what this video is aimed at. So that wraps it up for my tips. For those of you getting into this new sport, it can be really fun. Of course, it can be challenging. And hopefully now you have a better idea as to what to expect and maybe what might be expected of you and that you've learned something and that it was helpful. If you are interested in eyewear, do not forget about SporterX and definitely don't forget about that See Better guarantee because I really think it can offer you a ton of peace of mind. We are here to make sure that you get something that works for you and that you like. And so again, don't forget about our opticians because they'd love to help you get it right the first time. Thank you again. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here and also we have great content on our social media outlets. I think you should check us out there too because we have great content there and I think you'd like it. You can find us at SportRx.